Welcome. So, in yesterday's episode, Jon Snow, finally, the last of the old guard, or the last of the old generation there, died. We've still got Arya and Edric Storm slash Gendry slash whatever property you read there. Um, as the other last two surviving characters from the first generation, well, from, from, I should say, the last generation, I guess, of those native to Westeros, who are obviously important characters in the shows and in the books. We're playing as Lyanna Targaryen, Jon Snow and Daenerys' daughter, but she was one of the characters who was, uh... A character legitimized as a Targaryen rather than a Stark Targaryen. However, I, I basically put this up last episode as as a sort of uh, in the, in the comment section. I asked, "Do you guys want me to add an option whereby if you're a member of House Targaryen, you have the Stark and Targaryen bloodlines, you can do what we did with Jon Snow and take on that combination culture?" So that is now an option I've I've thrown in here, and we can become a Stark Targaryen. Or Lyanna of Pentos becomes a member of the Stark Targaryen family. All children of hers as well also flip over there. So. Basically, the whole reason we're playing as her is because all of other all of the other children died. So it is actually just, I believe, uh, who have we got? We've literally just got Lyanna and her son John. Her husband died. Harris, um, your brother husband, of course, died. How did he die again? Severe stress. My God. So there's uh, the only other person is Daenora Stark Targaryen, who's married to Bran Stark, not matrilineally. So that is just House Stark purely now. So besides her. Both of these families, or, or specifically the Targaryen bloodline, I guess, is going to be gone. So, why don't we flip over? Let's do it. And that, as I said last episode, gives us a couple of options. Well, firstly, we can now make the Kingdom of Westeros as a Stark Targaryen. We can also reforge ice. So, we, we now have that going for us as well. And I'd like to do both of those. I think reforging ice would be very, very cool. That's sort of a, a kickback. I mean, she is, what, like 75% Targaryen, I guess? Rayla Targaryen, Aerys the Man, and of course, Rhaegar of Dragonstone, and, uh, and Lyanna there. So, she is mostly Targaryen, just by the virtue of the Targaryens being horribly, horribly inbred. So, I, I suppose she should probably lean more in that way. But, she does get, obviously, the Dragon Rider stuff from being High Valyrian. And then, obviously, Valyrian religion now, too, which we've got to look at this episode, too. I'm actually not sure what this religion has going for it. Besides the sort of, uh, as I said, the syncretic faith. It, it goes a lot with other religions, right? They all get different bonuses to it. And we can also pick a syncretic one, which we chose... What was it we picked last time? Eastern Gods, that was it. So, the people of Pentos, we can more adequately rule over. You know, we're taking on some of their religion, and they, in turn, are a bit more tolerant towards us because we're willing to uh, sort of bend a little bit. Uh, hold a feast. We could do that. I don't think we need to. Why don't we check what our vassals think of us right now? I have already done that this entire episode. Uh, not too bad. Unsurprisingly here, it's just the Merchant Republics that dislike us. Uh, that would be because of wrong governments, I think, a minus 20. So actually, for the most part, we're quite well liked, considering we are a foreign invader, and probably a lot of that does come from the fact that we have... Uh, so Valyrian gives plus 5, just being the Valyrian religion. And then having the... Uh, where is it? It's going to be on here somewhere, I assume. Oh, uh, let's know. This guy is obviously Andal. Uh, we want to find somebody who is probably you. Yeah, there it is. Syncretic Faith, Eastern Gods are about, what's that, 7th, 8th from the bottom? Uh, gives another plus 10. Along with, we've apparently got Dragonbone Bracelet, Necklace. We've got Daenerys' Crown and Longclaw too. So you've got a lot of resources that obviously make us seem very regal. Obviously of high blood, so they don't mind us so much. We've got Oathkeeper. I think it would be a lot cooler to, to not only have the dragons of House Targaryen there, Tormoxen, but to also have Ice as well as our Valyrian Sword. That's kind of a nice combo. Have like a proper song of uh, Ice and Fire. Might also be kind of cool for taking out the White Walkers. Valyrian Steel Sword of House Stark and then obviously the Dragon of House Targaryen, like I said. So what about our council then? So our son and our only heir right now, John, is shit. John Stark Targaryen is going to be... Let me just make sure. Okay, that did actually work. Whew. Actually terrible. Um, he's also old god, so we might be able to ask him to convert. No, we actually can't. Um, he's shit. He's absolutely terrible. Amateurish plotter, gluttonous and charitable, and the only good thing he's got going for him. He's got quite high diplomacy, but that's all down to the fact that he is gregarious and charitable there. Man, he is, he is terrible. Poor military ruler actually makes his levy size less and his levy reinforcements less because he is so unskilled at martial. He's so poor at leading troops that he actually is uh, causing a negative there. Abomination of incest because his parents, I assume, yeah, because they were married because they were obviously uh, legitimate Targaryens. They're born under Daenerys' dynasty. And he has both the bloodlines too. Just like double check in case things are fucked up. Now, as we've got both these Stark and Targaryen bloodlines, we have claims on Dragonstone and King's Landing and Winterfell and blah, 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 blah. Apparently, they've, oh, right, he's got a claim on the Kingdom of Pentas because, of course, he our child. He's landed, which is a mechanic of the Game of Thrones mod, just to uh, just to recap on that a little bit there. So, I think we need to get another heir, I'm going to be honest. Now, she's pregnant already. She's got a lover, right? Yeah, Jonas Stark is her lover, who is some distant, who is he? Some distant relative of, um, Osric Stark, so that's Arya's, no, oh, Daenor, my sister's, uh, so, so it's her cousin-in-law, cousin-in-law's brother? 
Or a cousin? I'm so confused. Hang on. It's her brother-in-law's brother. So her brother brothers in law i don't know it doesn't matter more to the point they are related distantly or they have some um you know distant distant connection is probably the right way to say that i suppose they are related distantly are they because of course she is uh she is also a stark by by a liana start there the valerian freehold politics was dominated by 40 families of great wealth high birth and strong sorceress ability known as dragon lords they spoke the high valerian language and have great skill in shaping stone incest and polygamy was common practice among the old blood of valyria now we can pick whether or not how Stark Targaryen, now that we have Valyrian faith and actually Valyrian culture as well, because Daenerys obviously educated these kids, um, or, or they inherited her culture. I don't exactly know how that's worked, to be honest with you, but it doesn't matter either way. We can become legitimately high Valyrian. We become a bloodline. So Stark Targaryen becomes a legitimately Valyrian bloodline, which is kind of cool. Um, I guess a combination of the culture and the religion and everything else going on here. Or we can say we are a true descendant of the Dragon Lords, which they are. House Targaryen was a a a, a, a Dragon Lord house in in Valeria, but they were one of the weaker houses. In fact, they were the one of the weakest ones. So it's not wrong to say this, but that also gives us access to the Targaryen coin flip event. So there's there's this um, expression in the Game of Thrones world that whenever a Targaryen is born, the gods flip a coin and the, the like the realm waits with bated breath or something like that. So. Either your kids get a shitty trait when they're born or a good trait when they're born. And that can range from, the shitty traits can range anything from like wrath, paranoid, to straight up lunatic or possessed. Whereas the good traits can be things like quick or genius or diligent or things like that. So I'm going to go for that and let's put the hands of RNG, let, let's put ourselves a little bit into the hands of RNG Jesus there. RN Valyrian Jesus, there's got to be a better pun. Unfortunately, John is too old. I think it kicks in when they're like five years old or something like that. But her next child, which is obviously still kicking around here, when that's born, we can actually give that one a go. The child is in the mood for something different today. What should I eat? Um, I don't know what we go for with this one. Like, this one gives... A quail's foot is terrible, isn't it? That gives club foot. That one gives... I, I think they all give various things. But this one is normally the, the safe one, isn't it? We didn't actually get gluttonous, so we got quite safe with that. Genesio has been a little unable servant. Um, how much? Go oh, we got 700 gold, to be fair. Um, who is he? Your hand of the king. Wait, what? Oh, he's the. Oh, to be fair, he does have. Okay, fair enough. You know what? Either that or he'll start to hate us and then he'll embezzle from the treasury anyway. Oh, that's big. Tormoxen, our dragon there, has, uh, has laid an egg. That's pretty useful. Oh, shit. Oh, no way. That's uh, that's not Viserion as in Daenerys' dragon Viserion. That is uh, Drogon's spawn because dragons can change gender in the Game of Thrones world depending on what what suits the uh, what suits the occasion. I think so. Viserion is Drogon's spawn, and that is uh, as you can see there. Does the room have enough world for another dragon rider? John of Pentos. It's a shame it wasn't like original Viserion, but I think he's dead at this point, right? I've lost track of things. It's very confusing. Ouch! As I place my hand over my belly and slowly sit down, a small soft smile makes its way across my face to the baby kicking again. Um. Okay, is that good? I don't know. 30% of her gaining the trait stress. She's already depressed, isn't she? Because she's a widower. Um, I'm sure I'm carrying a fierce little soldier. Sure, let's go for that. She is stressed and depressed now, which kind of sucks. Son was born to John Stark and Bressa Tali named Edwin. Whatever. Old Volantis trial by combat. We're going to say don't inform us of trials by combat. But why do we care about trials of combat in Volantis? I mean, it's quite far away. I mean, it's not too far away, but it's also kind of irrelevant to us, huh? Man, they're also doing too well. I think the Dothraki have kicked them out of even more territory by the looks of it. Yeah, I don't think they normally extend this far south, but I don't really remember what the map looks like besides all of this crap. My liege, I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions. Why? But let's try and keep the round together. Like I said, this character is very much going to be our rebuilding the dynasty, rebuilding or, or changing the dynasty to obviously High Valyrian, maybe even Valyrian religion if we want to stick with that. Just sort of keeping things together as much as possible. We don't want to go to any more wars because it's been nothing but war since we start the, started this uh, started the, the the conquest of Pentos. A daughter, uh, she died immediately. Well, that kind of sucks. Nerys, never mind. Words fail me. Two percent chance of her dying, just straight up dying. Oh shit. Uh, Jonas refused to acknowledge the child. He's the true bastard. What a shocker. I'm not really surprised with that one, huh? Was she any good? She wasn't any good anyway. She would have been a house Stark Targaryen, so we could have legitimized her if we wanted to. Now, I've been told that in the comments yesterday, apparently taking a lover can get rid of, um, can get rid of Widowed. I'm going to flip over to Carousing anyway, as soon as we can, which we can't quite yet. Two more years. Flip over to Carousing. Time is ticking. Like, we're going to have to be really freaking quick if we want to get anybody but John leading things. But now he's a Dragon Rider. I guess he's not too shit. Has he cancelled out some of his, uh, Marshall? 
Oh, uh, yeah, average military ruler. Okay. So because he's got 10 marshal, he's not a detriment to the army because he's a dragon rider, I guess, taking a bit more involvement with that type of thing. Um, he's also... Someone's trying to overthrow him. Defending against Lord Callan. Can we not help him out with that? Oh, you know what? He has to send us a petition basically saying, hey, uh, help me against this rebellion. For Christ's sake, I'm going to die. Oh, God, please don't lose. Is there any way at all we could help him out? Who is it? This guy, Velvet March. Um, we can command them to end their war. So he is, yeah, war to overthrow the monarchy against Prince John of Pentos. Let's command them to end their war. See what he'll say. Now they will demand something. He could say this command will not be legally binding for increase crown authority, and he says no. If he refuses the command from his king or queen, then uh, then we can revoke his title, go to war with him, or join, I believe, the other war against him. He said no, obviously. Or he might have said yes, but he would have demanded something. So maybe gold, maybe land, anything like that. But I don't think we've got anything he wants, which is why he said no. What can we do? Um, I mean, worst case scenario, our son's just going to be unlanded, which actually might not be too terrible. The issue is we're going to lose Velvet Peak, I believe. Um, or will he just abdicate to his era? Which point, that's us, right? Yeah. So we might just get Velvet Peak back, which I won't complain about too much. And then we'll just uh, maybe keep him around a little bit until he's less shit. I'd like to send him on a foreign tour, because foreign tours basically let him tour the world, and in, in exchange, you get might, well, it costs a, a, quite a lot of gold. But in exchange, there's a chance of him getting uh, stats there. Master Davin is dead. Small private funeral, because he was just a maester at the end of the day, so I don't really care about that too much. Okay, now we need to go and send for a new... Oh, shit, that was a priest? Really? Oh, weird. Um, I guess we can employ a Valyrian priest, and maybe start proselytizing. Like I said, I'm not entirely committed to this yet, but we might as well give it a go, huh? So we want to employ a new courtier. Let's go for a Storm Singer of Valyria. And of course, like I said last episode, he's a saucy Valyrian rather than High Valyrian because the High Valyrians are more or less extinct now. She can obviously prove where she's from. Um, Valyria is not what I asked for. He's okay. He's, he's better than having no priest, to be honest with you, even if he is absolutely god-awful. I'm hoping my son loses that, and he should, right? He's got a dragon. How, the, how are you fucking this up so badly? 600 men, where is he? Okay, he's attacking there. No, he's just standing He's just standing around. So he's going to lose his capital almost immediately, and that'll probably be the war over. At which point, he'll become unlanded. I think either will game Velvet Peak or this guy's. Either way, I don't care, because it means we can send him on that foreign tour. You are done for, aren't you? 70% in favor. Oh, my God. Can we ask him to stand down? Uh, ask to surrender? Hey, uh, actually come back so we can send you off. No, we can't. Okay. My courtier, Aloris Bevins, has expressed a desire to get married. What is that? The weeping lady. Okay, marry you, please. We don't give a shit about you. Wait, did that say that she was... Oh! She was Robert Rathian's granddaughter. So that's Gendry slash Edric Storm's son. Edric Storm and Gendry are different characters in the books. They are actually separate characters, but in the show, they basically rolled them into one guy. Uh, so, so I'm basing it mostly on the show because I think people have watched the show more than they've read the books. Um, food taster, is that a minus five? No, it's a plus five in this one. Okay, there we go. Um, court musician. Callus, the leader of the Rulor Uprising. He's not been around forever, hasn't he? I need to check this guy out, because I'm pretty sure he's been there for ages. Anyway, uh, let's get to the location. We can also raise him to ability if we feel like it. It's only 100 men, so I don't think he's going to get very far. But yeah, he's, he's r rising up against Andalos. Andalos, like I've said before, Faith of the Seven, so it kind of explains that one. Even though most of Essos at this stage, I believe, is probably R'hllor, right? Uh, yep, that's a mess. Holy shit, look at this. Shadowbinders, Gods of E.T., Jogos Nine, Moonsingers, and the Brunesingers of Bravos as well. Um... I wonder if they're related. I've never considered that, whether the Jogos Nine Moon Singers and the Bravosi Moon Singers are the same. I actually don't know. That's, that's Game of Thrones lore that's a bit beyond me as well. Ooh, that's bad. Holy shit, the Grey Plague. So the Grey Plague is like grayscale, except quicker and more deadly. Um, it acts a lot quicker, so it's obviously more deadly as a result, but it's, it's more contagious. It will spread like wildfire, no pun intended. Uh, shut the gates. I think we shut the gates. I don't want to die. There's us and our son, John, who's probably going to be coming home any second. Um, I, Biomar, sincerely ask that you will allow me to pursue a career as the Septum of the Faith of the Seven. I give you permission. Serve with honor. House Aaron. Is he the last member of House Aaron? Four living members. He's got two sisters, both of which I'm going to marry off matrilineally to make sure House Aaron stays alive. Um, Donna chose Seaworth. I'm not wasting a Seaworth on that. Here you go. Marry the Storm Singer. Storm Singer, a priest can marry, I should say. Valerian priests. Um, okay, you can also marry off matrilineally to uh, anybody. I don't really give too much of a shit. There we go. Anybody is better than nobody, huh? Um... Sure, serve with honor. You've got two sisters that can marry off. So he's now eligible to inherit. Oh, he's just completely pissed off her. Huh? Just gone to Astapor, apparently. Sure. Um, very concerned. This is doing me a significant fright. And how's the hospital? Terrible. Um, can't even build a grayscale colony. I think we're just going to have to wait it out. I don't really want to waste the gold on that. Saying that, Pencils is going to be our capital for quite a while, huh? This is going to be the root of all of our operations before we can, like, take Dragonstone. Dragonstone would be an awesome capital, but I worry that the right White Walkers, seeing as they want to conquest the whole of Westeros, may just turn up and say, hey, we're taking this one back, because apparently they've got boats.
Well, there we go, right on cue. John Stark Targaryen has arrived at your court. He has lost. 13th of 3rd Moon, 3859. Truce was signed after he was overthrown. Yeah, whatever. Okay, that's fine. Can we send him on a foreign tour now? Or is it because he's in isolation? Okay, so when the Great Plague is gone, we'll just ship him out into the world so we can go and... Why is he now our heir? A new Great House has risen to the forefront. Wait, did it... Oh my god, it's become a Merchant Republic. Hey, wait, how? An inland Merchant Republic? Oh, wait, they're on a river? Oh shit, they're actually on a river. Look at that. Um, I didn't even know that could happen on a river. I thought, thought you had to add a sea tile. Well, I guess not. No, it does count. Sure, why not? Let's let them have it. I don't really mind too much about having a merch republic. It's kind of annoying because of the government malice. So he's going to have a minus opinion of us because... There you go, look at that. Uh, minus 20, wrong government type. That's kind of annoying, huh? That's actually really annoying. And who's this guy? The Prince of Pentos, who is supposed to be traditionally a feudal lord as he's the prince, is also a merchant republic. For the love of God. Okay, this is going to get very quickly out of hand if we don't deal with some of these merchants. I might start fabricating claims and see if we can't rearrange Pentos into be some sort of... Maybe land all of our other Westerosi houses that we've managed to keep around. House Seaworth, House Aaron, etc. Let's start revoking titles. This is going to be a mess otherwise. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, this is bad, huh? With a... Wait, we've got a we've got an aunt. Okay, uh, we've got an aunt whose children are House Stark. We're the last member of how old is she? Forty two. If we die, it is game over. If we die now, this is this is doomed. She died of depression. I thought the Great Plague had got her or something. I'm trying to see what the hell that is behind. Okay, a woman, a just woman, Lyanna sought fairness in life. Surely the gods will look favorably upon her. Great. Lyanna starts again and has died, causing a dragon to mox him to fly in a rage and to establish a lair in Pentos. She does, does deserve to be honored with a funeral. Just the... Oh, the court of Pentos. Whatever. Oh, please tell me the gates are still shut. We're good. And we don't have to deal with the abandoned and commoners thing. That's fine. It's not our problem now. Blood of the dragon. There it is. A bloodline of the dragon lords of Old Valyria. Sweet. Okay. Founded by, obviously, Lyanna Stark Targaryen there. Tar Stark Targaryen and the, 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 the combination who sort of legitimized them as the rules of Pentos. That's cool. Okay. Well, I guess she had something going for her before she... Uh, Basically ruined everything. Jocelyn starts up. No, no. Who is she? Break the betrothal. No, you need to be marrying for. She's in Westeros. The castle of the Black Bog in Westeros. They tried to take back some land. You fools. You can't win. It's winter. Arrange betrothal. Uh, can we get her off married matrilineally, perhaps? Uh, you marry. Ugh. Please just just marry matrilineally. Whatever the hell you do. She's a lady, so she should anyway, right? She's a high lord. I think that they'll just do it automatically. Best part about preparing the feast is deciding what food stuff to serve. I'll spend lavishly on food. Yeah, go for it. Why the hell not? Is he a glutton? What's he got going for him? Glutton, wrath. Okay, he's, he's a gregarious charitable dragon rider, which is something. Let's go for rulership. Let's try and get something. Just anything right now, please. And speaking of something, some congenital traits bred into the family wouldn't go amiss, seeing as we are seriously missing out on that. No prodigies, huh? In the entire realm. Are you shitting me? Genius. Oh, sorry, wise? Is that what they're called? There we go. Okay, uh, join court. Yes, nothing. Okay, gender, women, married, uh, no age. Let's see if we can find someone around our age to start off with here. She is wise and appealing. Okay. She's Varys's... Wait, what? House Rogue... Is that not Varys's house? That was a house Varys was given. I guess it's just a generic Lacine house. I have no idea with that one. Uh, range marriage between her and us. No, we're not considered offer from infidels. God damn it. Um, who else have we got? She's uh, wise and tall, but she's also a Brindleman. Brindleman can't breed with humans. She, she's a completely different like uh, subset of humanity there from uh, from Sothorios. Uh, have we got anyone else with any other congenital trait? Not at all. Um, well, shit, this are, you're great. You're awesome. Uh, please, invite to court. No, we could buy a favor and bring her over, maybe. Send her a gift. Okay, what about now? Invite to court by favourite, please. Oh, for the love of God. We need like 30 opinion with us to bring her over. Um, what if we're just trying to arrange marriage? No, we're not consider an offer from infidels based reluctance. What if we send them Ruin a gift? A, the Ruin, we'll send her a gift. It's kind of a bit of a shitty mechanic that that is a, is a thing. Um, yeah, no, it's not. It's still based reluctance. Shit, come on. There's got to be someone we can invite over. Um, who has the highest opinion is probably the easiest question. Sahara. She's also Valyrian. That could be something. Okay, arranged marriage between her and us. Nothing. Still infidel. By favor? Nope. Can't even swear. Because we're in seclusion. 
This sucks. This is this is horrible. Um, you're going on the shortlist, because that way we can also convert back to Valyrian again. She's Tolosi, which is Valyrian as well. Uh, Tolos is there, Valyrian obviously being here, so we'll keep a close eye on you. We might we might come back to that in a second. Let's wait for this uh, grayscale to go first, and then we'll let ourselves out of seclusion. Maybe go on an adventure to start off with it, go on a foreign tour, get married, try and bring this house back to life before we get a horrible game over. Please fix your beard, for the love of fuck. There we go, 10 out of 10. Queen Lyanna Stark Targaryen died of depression on the 14th of 10th moon, 83, 49, age 36. That's nuts. She wielded Longclaw and Oathkeeper. Oh, right. It, it, sorry, it's really weirdly written. Huh? Some, of the, some of these paragraphs are real. Uh, it was famously known to be a dragon rider. Holding a funeral will be removed from King John II of Pentos. Nice. Well, she's gone. She's, she's dealt with... The, um, our guy is now fat as well. My God, following his grandfather's footsteps. Look at those grandparents. Lady Daenerys Stormborn, King John the Just. Wow. Okay, so he's pure John and Daenerys mix. Okay, fine. Whatever. Whatever. We'll go for it. That's just that's just Targaryen thing, sir. Um, Donicho Seaworth uh, ends just by the means. He's Relor. Davos would be rolling in his grave if he knew that his grandson didn't. His son worship the Red God though, or am I or am I misremembering? His son was like taken on board with it all, uh, as far as I recall. Anyway, um, let's set up the council. Let's try and not get ourselves overthrown here. We're, we're really... Look at this. Everybody hates us. We are teetering on the edge of, of failure. Okay, the disease is gone. Thank God. Right, open the gates for the love of God. Just as our sick house has been built. Well, thank God. Um, go on a foreign tour. Get the hell out of here. Should tour Westeros. There's going to be a note from me, Chief. Let's go and see the great cities of Gishkar. And let's go and spend 100 gold on it. Gives us more opportunities to gain diplomacy, some, some armor, some stewardship, some whatever. Off we go to explore the world. Shall I take my flagship, Khaleesi Daenerys, on this tour? Of course. I shall captain her myself. Gives a slightly higher survival chance if you've got a full-on warship, obviously, uh, that you're touring the world with. You don't have to rely on captains and bandits and such things. I'm sure they know what they're doing. The council are now basically in charge of the entire realm. So they're going to be sacking other council members. There's going to be a lot of intrigue. There might be some money disappearing from the treasury, that type of thing. Hopefully when we get back, we won't be so shitty. Oh, God. What the fuck? During your journey across the seas, your ship was hit by a terrible storm. The ship is violently rocking back and forth as you try to cling on to anything to keep you steady whilst your men tend to keep the ship on course. Oh, gods, no. 11% chance of Viserion, 50% chance of him dying. So There's 11% chance that half the time he'll die. So we've got very low chance, fairly low chance there of uh, him dying. Your Valyrian steel sword is lost. King Pentos... Oh, shit. So Viserion dies, we die. And the King of Pen... Oh, come on. John was known for his massive girth. <laughs> That's why the ship sank. He was too heavy. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Speaking of massive girth, look, we've got to play as now. My nephew deserves to be honored with the funeral. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? Or just to start to go. Okay, we need to divorce our husband immediately. He'll say no. Oh, shit. We're fucked. Like, we're screwed. We're going to end up playing as House Stark again. We're going back to square one. Um, you, We need to divorce him immediately. Oh, fuck. This is horrible. Uh, plot to kill. We need to get rid of him somehow. What if we send some gold to the High Septum? I mean, the High Septum has no power here. What am I talking about? Come on. What if we just flip religion? What if we just go for a completely different religion? Get a coronation ceremony if we're Faith of the Seven. That could be kind of fun. Um, pfft, this is this is a 0 out of 10, huh? Let's convert to R'hllor. Let's convert to R'hllor. It's taking its time. Ooh, it wasn't happy about that, huh? Okay. Then we divorce you. Get out of here. And then we immediately marry the most lustful, fertile man we can find. Um, the Bank of... Um Wait, what? He had debts as well? Jesus, good lord. How many muck muffins were you buying, my guy? Another 49 gold gone. This was the worst character I've ever had the misfortune of playing as in CK2. We played as him for five minutes and then died. <laughs> um, pay off the coin, whatever. We don't want to We don't want to annoy the banks because the banks are the one thing to fear in Essos. Uh, whatever. You can marry whoever you want, when you want. Speaking of which, we're about to do the same thing. Divorce him. Right, and now remarry him. <laughs> Matrilineally this time. Uh, oh, shit. How old is he? 44. Oh, shit. Arrange marriage. Have we got anybody who is... Uh, anybody. I'll take literally anybody who is who is lustful at this point. 
lustful, attractive. I mean, I'm genuinely, just just help me out here. Nobody. Oh my fucking lord. Okay, join core. Yes, gender man, age. Let's go for like again, lustful. Doesn't really matter if they're young. I guess if they're men, he's 51. Might kill him in the process. Um, shit. Are you kidding me? Lustful. I mean, what if we just go for my religion and then join core any, and then. See what we can find here. Ruler, no. Let's cut, cut it down a little bit more. Okay, so we've got Lustful, Honorable. We've got Red Priest there. He, what about that? Mention marriage between him and... Nope. Oh, because he's a Red Priest. I assume, okay. Didn't, didn't know if Red Priest could marry or not. He's fine. Laceno. Go. Matrilineal. No. Past childbearing age. Don't say that. You're lying. You're lying. You're, you're a madman. You're a, you're a liar and a thief. It's 45 in CK2. I don't know how these mechanics work past childbearing age. Yeah, I hear Spend lavishly on food. I bet you will. Who the fuck hasn't in this dynasty so far? We had John Avalanche and then John II who was so fat he sank the ship. He sank a warship. My god. I wonder what few people patronage. Right. Come to my court and then come to my court. Preferably. Um, right. Okay. Stop. Range marriage. Here we go. Raise him to nobility first and foremost. Boom. Welcome. Paynar. That way we're not marrying a lowborn fool. Uh, he is highborn. Trust me. I've, I've seen it. It's still minus 400 prestige because even though he's even though he's no longer just nobody. Uh, what do we got? Seduction? Sex appeal plus five. She might need all the help she can get here. What about family focus? Oh, God, go for it. Please, for the love of God, seduce him. Get him on board. Please. He will be mine. Please dig in, my lord. Everybody else bloody does. King John II, Stark Targaryen, vanished without a trace. He was immensely fat. <laughs> Famously, John was known to be a dragon breaker. Sorry, Ryder. Ryder. Yeah, no, there we go. Queen to or a start Targaryen. Great. 10 out of 10. That's what we've remembered. He was so just completely unnotable that we had to mention that he was fat. Good. Let's have a wedding. Let's have a, let's have a wedding. Because uh, part of the wedding feast is the bedding ceremony, but I think that's only Westeros, so maybe it'll increase the chance of Babby being formed. Who the hell knows? Spend lavishly to show off. Okay, let's just spend all the gold here. Lies and slander, get out of here. This sweet Queen Daenora, thank you for your invitation, but I'll not be able to attend your wedding. Thank you. Uh, bloated lover of heathens, thank you for your invitation. That's uh, respectfully. Yeah, we'll see about that. A few my patronage. What else can we do here? Get this one out of here. Fuck off. Let's go for have a son, please. Um, we might have also been able to groom an heir, which might have given fertility. Some mods it does, some mods it doesn't. Ooh, shit. I am, man. I am in super, super bad town here, huh? This is, uh, this is not good place 101. Uh, Becco. Good God. Becco on D's. Help me. Welcome to the wedding. Now for the feast. Come on. Now for the festivities. Sure. The others are stealing titles from another. We got a bit of White Walker in fighting, and now they're going to try and take everything. Um, monarchy must be abolished and a council established in its place. What happens if we do that? Led by myself. I will not be blackmailed. You have no power here. No recall or intervention will work in this place. We can't... Why can't we get a dragon, though? She already got a dragon? Why the fuck can't she tame a dragon? I'd really, really like to tame a dragon right now. Are there no dragons that need taming, maybe? Oh, God. Uh, it's not commander. <gasps> Stop commanding. Do not command. Hatch the egg. Face the dragon. Tormoxen or Sylviax? Tormoxen is apparently my niece as well, of course. Um... Who's Sylviax, then? Uh, it's got to be, like, a descendant of... So we've got Tormoxen. It's got to be, like, uh, Rhaegal's child. Ten. Or we've got Tormoxen, who's 14. Face Tormoxen. I will not be blackmailed. Holy shit, this is bad. You are mine. Grab her. Grab him. Grab it. I don't care. What's the chance of succeeding? If we've got anything else we can equip. Um... Okay, we've got Valerian Steel Sword. Yeah, I'm sure that's great. And I'll just equip Long Claw instead. That makes a bit more a bit more thematic sense here. She's got the Dragon Hatching Tame and Chance from being Relore. She's got the Targaryen Bloodline. She's got the High Valyrian Blood. You are mine. Holy shit. This is good. This is... This might... I mean, we've got to fight the world's biggest war again. Oh, we've got a lot of troops, to be fair. But none of which we can raise because the capital's being sieged. Oh, fuck me sideways. Okay, um... Well... <laughs> <laughs> She's got 12 Marshall, to her credit. Which is better than, obviously, you know, any other character besides Jon Snow, I think we've played as right now. Right, Daenora. Tanago. 
Tag it, tag an arrow. Callan, save your queen. Run, reinforce your queen. Reinforce the bloody dragon she's flying on. You and Lysine now are stripped of all garments and the revelers who make a bawdy joke along the way. You are both finally bundled into the bedchamber to be let alone. Thank you, good. Um, more importantly, when are they getting here? 29th of 10th moon. Speed down. Brace. Stop. Dragon. We need the dragon now. Deploy the dragon. Call for other dragon riders. See if anybody wants to come and try and tame a dragon. In, and in response, they can have a dragon. But we get ourselves a dragon rider. Oh god, the burning did not help. It did really not help at all. Please reinforce. They're bringing a lot of other troops. They're bringing a lot of other troops. Oh shit. This could be seriously problematic. Well, half their morale is gone. Keep a very, very close eye on whether or not we can use the dragon. Come on. Second it pops up, we need to do it. We need to do it. At least he lives. Uh, I will let everyone know if it's cowardice. Mock him in battle, whatever. Come on, please. Dragon, deploy it. Dracaris, kill them all. Depressed. Nice. Wounded. Nice. Dragon was also wounded, but you know what? We might be good. The center is the only thing that's left. We're going to reinforce. Oh, fuck. It's going to be close. Oh, my God. We've got him. They're in retreat. I'll find you something nice. Uh, Osric Stark, my ex-husband. Range marriage. Uh, between him and literally anybody. Him and Arya. Oh, yeah, I don't think that's going to work out. Huh? Uh, Daenora. Chill, dude. Boom. There you go. Uh, marry as you please. Too late. Done it. I should have said I'll find you someone nice because that would have gained an opinion, I think. Oh, shit. They've reinforced with a few more before the battle ended, you motherfucker. We had that. Okay. What the fuck do we do now? Well, they're moving a lot, so they're dead. Um, luckily, they've left Pentos. We can actually raise our troops there. Okay, uh, make a lewd suggestion. He is, he is, uh, he does have the lustful traits. That may work. Right, just get everybody to Pentos. Uh, let our love grow. That's a good start. If we have to send for money from the Iron Bank or anything like that, of course we're going to do it. Otherwise, this is game over. So, um, wow, this is horrendous. Uh, this is actually horrendous. Okay, get them all to Pentos. You boys might as well just not bother. We can, why can we not put them down? If, this is one thing I don't like about movement lock. We should be saying, hey, uh, stop. Just stop and run in literally any other direction. Plot's revealed. Oh, we're trying to kill him. We can, we can stop that now. We don't have to worry about it. We're already divorced. Okay, that's going to give us 4,700 troops. It's, it, it pales in comparison to the, the rebels. But it's something. Like, it really is something. So he should call to all of his subjects, promising glory and wealth to anybody who can master a dragon in his land. So they are also calling for dragon riders. More Targaryen dragons that have escaped. On the plus side, go look at the bonuses here. This has gotten rid of every single traitor in our realm in one fell swoop. So we can revoke everything freely and maybe deal with all of these merchant republics. Tell, tell her she's fat. Liara Stark, 13-year-old girl. Your daughter. Tell her she's fat. Why not? That'll teach her. Pot kettle and all that. Okay. Uh, make sure she's on the center. She is. Rollo. Replace it with him. You replace it with him. How do we... Oh, I think we got to take out the troops, haven't we? I, I really want to hire mercenaries here because this is, this is horrible. We can't even hire these boys because they are vassals of the Temple of R'hllor. Can't They're basically like the Faith Militant, right? Um, take out a loan? Will that even give us enough money? How much are the cheapest mercenaries? 150 gold is your average mercenary unit. We've got it. I've got to do it. I mean, what, what are we going to do here? Ancient Bank of Carth, Bank, Bank of Bravos. Loan interest is smaller from the Bank of Bravos, so we go for those guys. Guess because they can actually hunt it down a little bit better. It's not so much of a risk for them, huh? Can we hire anybody? We can. We can hire about... Oh, God, we're going to have to hire these guys because the monthly cost is is large. Okay, come together. Meet on the stone road. Meet on the sun, sun, sunrise roads, whatever the hell it's called. Let them siege a little bit because obviously it'll, they'll leave some troops behind as garrison. Right, raise the speed. Get them together because I'm not moving in unless we've... Uh, we can also siege this in the meantime. They're coming for us. Okay, um, what are they going to get here? Ninth or fourth moon. We've got a month yet. Fuck. Okay, when are these boys going to get here? 21st or fourth moon. If we can win this initial battle with the dragon, we've got this. <laughs> this is not much of a big ask, huh? Here we go. They're here. Right. Deploy the dragon. Burn them all. Dracaris. He dies. He's a fool. He's, he's burnt. Reinforcements coming in. I think we've got this. Morale is destroyed. One of their commanders is dead. We're getting 1,000 reinforcements, which puts us on level pegging after that. Okay. Come on, level pegging is what we need to do if we're going to get an air. Although I suppose it probably wouldn't help out too much in regards to getting an air, huh? Although it might lead to something better. Um, Arya Stark? Arya the Angry Falcon. Oh, this is other... Uh, oh, Anya. Sorry, Anya. This is Arya Stark's daughter. Marries you, please. I don't give a shit. She's 41. Might be a bit of a lost cause. We say it's a 42-year-old. 
Nice, we've got him. You're gone. Get out of here. Oh my god, are they gone? Let's deploy the dragon again. Burn as many as we can. Chance of us becoming maimed. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. Because if the dragon's maimed, we have, we have lost. Because we're the maimed dragon, you can't siege. Good. 27% war score. That's a good gain back, I think. We are, however, I hate to do this, going to have to leave this one here for today because we are overrunning quite heavily. And I think this war could take a very long time. And I don't want this to be a 50-minute episode. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. This is, uh, we're on a knife's edge. This is tension supreme right now. 43 years old. We've got two years to have a child, which there is a low chance of occurring, I'd like to point out. Especially when she's leading bloody troops. I think in command is at minus 20% fertility on top of everything else. So, pressure's on, huh? You know, nothing to worry about. It's just a 43-year-old woman with no air. A last surviving bloodline member of, of House Stark Targaryen. Yeah, nothing, nothing there besides the daughter who's obviously completely different dynasty. So that doesn't really help her. Thank you for watching. Let's give a shout out to the insane top tier level patrons who made this series possible in the first place. A big thank you to Harik, Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Banyol, Sidini, Conspired C, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Escape, Facundo Vasquez, Haydog, Jimbo, Josh Lindin, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Necrofilm, Palvis Presti, Sean Thornton, Smirtworm, Tom Terror 18, Vacuous Backus, Wolfsen, and Zazzy 7011. Thank you all for your support in the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thank you for watching some Game of Thrones. And thank you for enjoying some Game of Thrones. And, and if you haven't enjoyed it, then get out. Don't ever watch another episode. And a big thank you as well to my good friends, Gray, Nathaniel Lindberg, Luana Thomas, Asaro, Betamus Max, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Conning 2 and 7, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Haji Damar, Hancock, Harry McGowan, I See the Great, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Yoran DeVries, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plock, Nathan Flores, Matthew, Nick, Pantherpearl, people with the ethical treatment of animals, Surthal the Swede, Shari, Wolfie, Zico, Anon Person, Sidini, Fraser Brennan, Noah Gallimore, and the Insane Pickle. Thank you all for your support.